Hi there, Gemini. This is Carrie at Wooing Nature. Welcome to January. Glad to be here and glad to be a part of your world, at least for now, okay? So happy to be a part of this new year. Happy to be able to bring you this, this video. So today I'm going to be working with Holitska, Klaus Holitska's I Ching. For those of you who are familiar with I Ching, it gives a nice, broad, overarching message. And then it also gives some admonition, some details. Um, it gives you the both sides of the situation. And I like that. I like it. It's a, it's a very balanced teaching or system. So... Speaking of balance, the I Ching that I'm using, which is Klaus Holitska's cards, um, ask for us to pull two cards. The first card represents the main aspect or the main theme or what have you. And then when you pull the second card, that tells you the changing lines that you're reading for detail. So it's a little bit different system, but I found it to be still quite effective. So your card is card number 40. For those of you that are numerologically inclined, you know that breaks down to a number four. And it talks about liberation, liberation. So this is about freeing yourself. And I love the way that Holitska has uh, depicted this freedom. It's like this circle or it almost looks like a womb. And out of this womb, you're being born. So this is about liberation. It says difficulties are lifted and the tension dissolves. The effects are liberating, but there is one more thing needed to clear away remaining misunderstandings. Just as thunder and lightning relieve the tension in the atmosphere, so liberation releases the soul from fear and constrictions. Enjoy your newly won freedom. Don't get tangled up in the past. Forgive those you hurt when you were at rock bottom. Forgive all those you hurt when you were at rock bottom. This will help everyone who is involved. You could avoid attributing blame in relationships too and instead provide a new impulse for love. Letting go of rigid attitudes and worn out behavioral patterns allows extraordinary potential for personal growth. So the message or the overall message for 2021 for you, Gemini, is about liberation and um, this is goes into more depth about what type of liberation, because when we think about liberation and we think about freedom, different things may come to mind for different people. So depending on your situation and what, <clears throat> oh, how you're living, uh, your family situation, your relationship situation, your work situation, that may look different for different folks. Um, it's just about thinking about what this represents for you. Like, what is this bubble or what is this um, vessel or what is this encasing that you're in that you feel like you need to be freed from? And then you're applying these messages to it. So it says, clear away remaining misunderstandings. Clear away remaining misunderstandings. Those are the highlights for me. It talks about relieving in relieving tension in the atmosphere, thunder and lightning. When we think about thunder and lightning, we think about anger. You know, it, it reminds us of it because it's these, you know, big jolting sounds that, you know, shake us up. And um, for some people, this is a very fearful phenomenon to be in a thunder and lightning storm. So, you know, depending on how you respond to conflict or how you um, receive um, criticism from a partner or from someone else, that may be causing the tension there. But they, the interaction of having that exchange and having that um, that conflict be resolved either through communication or conversation or, you know, having it out, you know, it's still there to relieve the tension. So that's what you need to keep your mind on with that. So it says, don't get tangled up in the past. Forgive all the people. It says, forgive all the people that you hurt. 
And I think that's interesting because most of the time, and that's why I had to read it again. I said, am I reading that correctly? It's like forgiving the people that you are. What about the people that hurt you? And you have to ask yourself if some of the people that you are hurting were also people that you felt hurt by, or if these were just, you know, a kick the dog situation. Either way it goes, forgiveness is really the main thing to think about. Um, don't attribute blame in the relationship. Provide a new impulse for love. I like that, an impulse, an impulse. Provide a new frequency for love to come in by releasing, by letting go of the tension, by forgiving. You're releasing a new space for love to come in. It says let go of rigid attitudes, worn out behavioral patterns, and then you'll see this new growth. So the I Ching is very specific in this case about what is going to give you liberation or what is truly going to free you. And I can attest to this that forgiveness is a freeing act if you can get to it. It's difficult to forgive especially when you've been deeply hurt. But when you can bring yourself to forgiveness, and it is a choice, it is a decision that you make. Um, usually when you're exhausted and you've exhausted yourself and you're tired as you can be because you have been shouldering this um, anger or resentment or hatred or disappointment, and that can be a heavy load. That can be a heavy load. All right, so I am looking at the changing lines here, and it looks like um, from the second card, because remember I said you pulled the first card, and that's the main re reading. And then the second card just tells you the changing lines. We don't go to the passage on the second card. We just read the changing lines in the passage um, of the main thing. All right, so the second one. We've got the fifth one. So two and five are the only other lines that we're reading for you today. So both of these may resonate with you. Maybe one of them does, one of them doesn't. Just wherever this fits and resonates, go with that. Line two says someone is trying to improve his or her situation with flattery. You will succeed only if you remain strong-willed and immune. So there's someone around you who may be trying to kind of creep through the back door. Um, they may be trying to butter and sweeten you up. Um, let's not forgive the admonition about forgiveness. And I want to say this, that forgiving someone for something that they may do or for their tendencies doesn't mean you have to um, uh, play along with it. OK, so be very clear about that. If somebody's coming in and they're, you know, playing all kinds of head trips and games or whatever, they're trying to win you over and you know that the situation is lost, gone and needs to be done and over with for your own sanity. It's OK to forgive that person, but that doesn't mean you have to tolerate the bullshit. OK, I just want to make that clear. And then the fifth line says, first of all, make a firm decision to free yourself of bad influences and tiresome habits. Remember I said that tiresome habit of carrying around a whole lot of anger and disappointment and, and frustration and, and wishes and dreams and hopes that, you know, you know, weren't in your control to begin with. That's tiresome and the bad influences. Through inner freedom, you successfully tackled the problems this time. So you are freeing your inner self 2021 heading up the year starting out the year that is the theme the theme for you is liberation free yourself gemini free yourself free yourself from um thoughts free yourself from anger disappointment frustration other people's stuff other people's responsibilities other people's dramas you don't have to bear that and you don't have to shoulder it and you don't and you don't have to carry it around. And if you you may think that you're not carrying it around because you're either ignoring the situation or trying not to have the tense conversation that's going to break the um, that's going to, you know, break up the um, the dynamic. 
So you may think that you're solving it by that, but it's not. It's really, it needs that. That's what I'm saying or what I'm feeling. All right, so I am going to do something a little different this time just because it's at the beginning of the year. What I want to do is look at the year ahead. So I'm going to look from January all the way to December of 2021 today. And I'm going to be using the Sun and Moon Tarot, one of my favorite little decks. It's a very delightful deck. And so I want to bring in 2021 with some delightful energy. It's a fun deck to read from. Oh, and I just remembered I can't do that that way. All right, so Sun and Moon. I'm going to read these face up instead of in reverse today, um, just so that I can stay on top of my game. <laughs> All right, so in January, coming up in January, first off the bat, we've got the Ten of Swords going on. I think the Ten of Swords for me is representing that space um, of you not feeling or not being liberated. This is you in that in that cauldron there. Um, so January is 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 the beginning of it for you. This is the beginning of the change, or this is the beginning of liberation. Okay. So you may be still feeling it. You may still be um, experiencing it as a um, as that tired feeling that we talked about, being exhausted, being tired from trying to carry it. And then in February, you're actually facing the situation. This is going to require some inner leadership on your part. That means you're going to be leading yourself. This isn't about you. Um, this isn't about you. Um, trying to make someone else see your side of the situation. It's not. When you get ready to have this, because some of you guys are getting ready to have a, uh, uh, y'all going to pitch a wang dang doodle is what people, <laughs> okay. Somebody, something's getting ready to go down, but this is you February having the face off with the very thing that either you fear the most or that you have been avoiding um, because this is the thing that is really causing this energy or you're feeling this way. Um, it's the thing that is tying you up and hemming you up. When we talk about liberation, the devil is not about liberating you. It's about hemming you up or tying you down. So whatever it is or whoever it is that you perceive is hemming you up or tying you down, you need to get a very close look at that. And you are going to get a very close look at that around February or March. And when I said that it's going to require you to have some inner leadership, you are not trying to fight the other person. You're not trying to convince the other person. The whole thing about this is you going in and saying, I'm a leader in here. I'm going to lead me in the best, most honorable uh, way with valor, with honesty, um, as you would lead other people. You know, think about people that you know represent good leadership. Think about a person um, that's a leader in your own life. It could be you, Gemini. Think about how you lead and how you want to be led and lead yourself in this conversation in that same way. It's really interesting. It's really interesting, but it's coming in very clear. Um, so you're going to rely on your ability to... Um, to exercise uh, self-discipline in that moment. And that's hard to do because when you're having an argument or if you're having a tense conversation or if you're having to address, this is not expected to go simply. It's just expected to, it's expected, to, it's expected that you would feel uh, worked up. But disciplining yourself in that moment and remember that you are leading yourself through the conversation, through the exchange, through the argument, through the fight, lead yourself through it. You know, when you're when you're having an argument with somebody, you're you're battling. You say, "Oh, you know, I'm battling this today, or I'm battling this person today, or whatever." Or you're in a little skirmish, or you're in a, a little war when these conflicts happen. So you're gonna lead yourself through the conversation like you would lead an army or lead some troops. That's February, January, February. So let's see what's going on in March.
Let's see what's going on in March. I know I had something out of whack here. Sorry. Yep, I did. I had something out of whack today, but that doesn't affect your reading. This is all this is all like what I'm laying stuff on, so no worries. We're here. All right. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got here. So as we go into March, April, let's see what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, butterfly? All right, Ace of Wands. Here comes the fire. Here comes the power. Here comes the energy. Of course, of course, because you have faced your demons. You have faced the situation. You have taken on the challenge. You have faced your fears around it. You've addressed your situation. You've led yourself through the battle. And now you're no longer exhausted like you were in January because you now have more energy to do what it is that you um, want to do. So this is a good time to set goals. So um, normally I would say, oh, you're getting ready for the new year. Start setting goals for you, Gemini. I would say, wait and set your goals after February for the rest of the year. So once you get your energy back, once you've dealt with some issues, then set some new goals for yourself because you want to get this behind you first. Get that behind you first. Get thee behind me, Shaitan. Okay. All right. Got to get the devil off your back. Get the devil off your doorstep first. Then you can really, really think about what you want to do next. All right, so we're going into April, May, around April, May, April leading into May, going into mid-May. We've got the Two of Cups happening around that time. It's springtime, and that's also the time that um, uh, some of you are, well, it's not quite your season, but right before your season, uh, which is the corn planting moon, by the way. That looks like there's some love and affection coming in for you, um, Gemini, during that time. A companion may come your way again. You've gotten rid of some stuff. See? You've released this old mess. And see, when you release this old mess and you get that energy that's coming in for you in March, then come April, you know, ready to get your fly on. You get ready to get your thing going, okay? That's beautiful. Corn planting moon. This is your birthday time. Um, we got the sun. And not only do we have the sun, but we got the sun with you and your partner in it. This is summertime, summer festival, summer romance. Enjoy it because you've done the work in the first part of the year. So this looks really good for you, um, Gemini. It looks really good for you. I'm really happy to see this because um, what it means to me is that, you know, um, just the first couple of months of 2021 may be still, you may still have your challenges, um, but after that, things start to move forward. So in June, or excuse me, June going into July, this is around the time of the strong sun's moon. Um, this is when you're going to go into hermit mode. Hermit mode is just a time period that you need. Everybody, sometimes people, they don't like to get the hermit card because when they get the hermit card, they're like, oh, I don't want to get a hermit. I'm tired of being alone. And they'll say things like that. But really, the hermit time is really not about being lonely. It is about taking, pulling yourself back off of the rest of the world so that you can get your bearings straight and get your sensitivities together. I mean, you've um, conquered something in the beginning of the year. You have all this burst of energy and the burst of energy that you um, have. You are um, connecting with other people. Now you're immediately giving again. So it's not a bad idea in the midst of the joy to, to take a moment out. A lot of times people take this hermit time when all hell breaks loose and they're like, oh shit, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to, I need, I just need to get away from everything. See, that's a crisis moment. But what this is telling me is that in the midst of this positive time, take the time then so it doesn't feel like something you have to do or else you're going to die. You know what I mean? Or lose it. You know, it's sort of like a uh, preventative measure. It's a preventative. 
All right, so for the right fairies moon, you are in your full regalia here. You are being your full Gemini self. You're feeling like yourself. You're feeling yourself. You're showing your ass just a little bit. Um, but it feels good to you. You are talking again. You are communicating again. You are in a good communication space at that time. This is what they want you to do. They want you to do this because they want you to... Um, to begin to express yourself more. It may have been that, you know, when you were bogged down or when you were um, heavy laden with a lot of those um, emotional burdens, it definitely looks like uh, mental burdens could be emotional, but basically it was things that were preying on your mind. Um, it's good to express those, and that would be a good time to do it during, um, we're talking about like right around the beginning of August, late July into August, it would be a good time to um, write. Writing is always good for um, Geminis. And Geminis like to communicate. So you may be, like I said, I think you're, you're going to really be feeling yourself around that time. All right. So during the harvest moon, we have the King of Pentacles energy here. Um, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're feeling stronger. You're feeling more stable. You're feeling grounded. You feel like you are um, in charge of your situation. You're in charge of yourself. You're self, um, you're self motivated. You're self, um, you're self, you're self motivated. That's what I'm getting from this. This is a change. This is a change for you. You're going to be, you're going to feel um, like you know what you're doing. Like you're down here and you actually know what you're doing. You're going to start to feel comfortable in your surroundings, comfortable in your space. Um, for some of you all, you might be taking on a new space around this time of the year, fall, going into... Uh, well, fall, you know, in the dead of the fall, because we're talking about the end of August going into September. Um, so right around the time of the um, fall equinox is when you may begin to see yourself moving into new territory. I see you moving into new territory um, of finding a new place to graze. That's what I'm saying. This is a new place to graze. Um, but yes, you are still getting your bearing straight around this. This is new energy for you. It says it's associated with the turning point, preparations, gatherings of sorts. Um, but to me, I see it as definitely a turning point for you, Gemini. You haven't been feeling very grounded and now you're feeling a little more grounded than you were before. And, and that's what you were needing. All right, and then um, during the ducks fly moon, when the ducks start flying again, we're, we have you drawing some boundaries again. I'm seeing two time periods in this um, year 2021 where you're going to need to pull back again. This is the strong sun's moon, so we're talking about July, June, July here. And then again in September, October, so the latter part of September going into the beginning part of October is the other time when you're going to need to set some boundaries, take some time for yourself, um, do some, some, um, some perspective gathering around your situation. And again, I'm seeing this as being very, a very positive thing. It's almost like the spirits are giving you these opportunities to bring balance into your life it creates the balance you know i'm seeing it here in march when you have the you're having the um to face the difficulty or face the demons or face the past or forgive and all of that and then you get this energy and then the energy keeps going for a couple of months with the relationship and you know the summer and that energy and then it's like oh take a moment take a moment and then you're feeling yourself again and you're feeling grounded again and you're feeling really good and then it's like all right check your boundaries so it's almost like you know just proactively looking at your life and saying okay well this is the time period when I'm going to be working on this and I feel like if you're obedient in the um in what it's saying you're actually going to have a great year um after January, February, after you do that work in January, February, everything really looks, really looks good for you, Gemini. 
All right, so now we're on October going into November and we have the judgment. This is interesting too because the judgment for me is about um an, it's about an alignment. It could be about enlightenment. It represents a time period when something um there's a trigger, there's a moment, uh there's a moment of truth. And in that moment of truth, it's like where do you stand? How do you stand? Are you ready for this moment? And this moment right here is happening. Um, the latter part of um, October going into November is where you can expect that to happen. It's it's the freedom time. To me, this is when you really experience that liberation that, um, that the I Ching spoke about earlier today because there's a process to everything. It isn't just like a turn on switch. Well, this is the turn on switch, but there's always a preparation for that. And we just, what was that we had? This was preparation. This was in the preparation position in um, like late August going into September. It's the grounding. It's the moving. It's the finding the new place, getting yourself established. All of that is leading up to um, the for real though, for real though, liberation. You're going to feel quite liberated throughout the year. You honest, honestly are. But this is kind of the moment of truth right here. And once that happens, then you'll be clear. But like I said, just do, just, 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 just follow this. Just follow it. Just follow it. And I think you'll be happy with what you got. So by the time the long snows comes through in um, November and December, we've got some strength happening here. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of a lone wolf energy here, but um, this is something that that you um, are, I want to say you're comfortable with it, honestly, Gemini, but I think that this is where you're going to um, really be gathering some, um, you're, you're really going to be gathering the energy that you needed, you like the energy that you felt was lost here at the beginning of the year or at the end of um, December going into January. I'm seeing that happen. So I'm seeing the strength coming in or there may be um, something that requires your inner strength. It talks about contemplation and deliberation. So uh, maybe that's where you will be gaining your strength from during that time is through your own contemplation. So yet another uh, another moment to reflect, especially directly after this. So another moment of reflection, just to gather your strength and just to, um, to, to help you see where your strength lies because you are very strong. And then in December, which is the last card that I will pull for this reading for 2021, leading up into 2022, you have the world and you have, well, it says the universe, which equates to the world card in most tarot. Um, but it's, it's, it's a powerful um, spiritual um, earning. It's a powerful spiritual earning. Um, and the earning is, is that you understand yourself in the context of the universal truth um, in terms of the universe's law. Uh, and you are able to access the spiritual guidance that you need in order to continue to move forward with your life. You have overcome some things that um, were really deal were really plaguing you from your childhood, Gemini, is what I'm seeing here. And you had to overcome that in order for you to feel your full power. Um, and the fullness of your power is not just about, you know, people use the word power very loosely, right? But what I'm talking about is spiritual power. And spiritual power is not just about um, brute strength. It's about inner strength. And inner strength, um, your inner strength is really where your power actually lies. And it's not about, you know, controlling anybody or dictating or... Um, feeding your ego. It's not that notice there's no tower cards in this deck. It's about really, um, uh, it's a really about this. It's really about this work that you're involved in and it's inner work and it is going to be a power source for you. That's why after you do the work, you get this power source, you get that fire, you get that energy coming behind it. 
Um, so I think that this is what this year, when you talk about liberation, wow. Wow, Gemini, this is really about liberation, for real, for real. It really is. It's liberating yourself from things you've been holding on to, things that you haven't been able to forgive and things you haven't forgiven about yourself or things you haven't forgiven about a situation. And that's true liberation because you can live freely after that. You can own your own power. You can have strength. You can be um, at the right moment, at the right time to receive that blessing of enlightenment or that blessing that, uh, that really pushes your life forward. So all you have to do is just be obedient. Don't forget to take those times out. Refer back to this video throughout the year if you need to, like to fast forward yourself to February and see what's going on. And then we're going to um, keep up with this for you throughout the year. Okay. All right. So that is your reading for January. If you would like to take the deeper dive, you know where to find me. I am at wooingnature.life. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Wooing Nature. Um, if you would like to make a donation toward the channel, you can do so at Cash App, also Wooing Nature. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have a wonderful January, and I hope that you're having a fabulous life.